Ina. All right, we got to talk entertainment. Jeff Savillico moving his show to a new hotel. The ACM's Party for a Cause lineup and strategy is now out. And John Castellamides joins us for his regular segment with all the details on that. He writes a column in the Review Journal called Cat. Hello. Hello. You What's got a lot. We're also going to talk hard rock as well. Yes. So let's get through it all. Let's first talk about Jeff. He's a regular here at KTV. Yes. He hosts a morning blend a lot for us. Mm -hmm. And he's got a show at the Flamingo. And he's moving. Yes, he's moving from Bugsy's Cabaret where he's had a, a 5.30 p.m. show. Um, of five nights a week and he's going to move over uh, effective April 6 to the Anthony Cools room okay. at Paris Las Vegas and he's gonna be on Wednesdays ex exclusively mm -hmm. Jeff took some time off to have some uh, some surgery done on his knee and was out for a while and uh, we saw him his prop went from being a unicycle to crutches yeah. for quite a while <laughs> there he is this is why you need to be in shape to do <laughs> this folks because he is he's one of the very best especially family entertainers we have in Las Vegas he really is. so he's gonna be moving over uh, for uh, one night a week at at the Paris and he's going to be expanding his TV presence. He hosts uh, a couple of shows including The Weekend in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. He His win-win entertainment charity is uh, branching out to Minneapolis and Salt Lake City that he developed here in Las Vegas so that's becoming a national mm -hmm. uh, uh, effort. So yeah, Jeff is going to be, uh, you know, branching out and uh, doing all of what he does and more of it uh, right. beginning in April. That's great. And you saw in there it was called the Quad, then he was at the, li you know, which turned to the Link, but quad, now he's at Link, the Flamingo, Flamingo, and now he's going to the Paris. Paris. It's all Caesars Entertainment. He's got a great relationship with Caesars he Entertainment. Does. He's playing some hot hopscotch there, but I'm looking forward to him coming back and seeing how that uh, the show plays in the uh, in the Cools room. And Anthony's been there for more than 20 years. Yeah, so. he has. All okay. right. All right. So that'll be good. Um, and let's talk about Party for a Cause. Now, the ACM's a uh, big deal when they come to town because yes. it's one of the big awards that uh, I Obviously features a country music and party for a cause is always well. It's always I don't want to say always once was at the rock wasn't it at the Rock and Rio? Yeah, it was area? at the Rock and Rio site. And we've talked about this before. It was out there. It was one of the sh the the very few events they've had scheduled at the uh, Las Vegas Festival grounds mm -hmm. on the corner of Sahara and Las Vegas Boulevard. Uh, they performed it there last year. The party for a cause it was a three day festival. It was um, Carrie Underwood, Dirks Bentley. Mm -hmm. And uh, were, were the two two of the headliners, Keddy Chesney, on the very last night when the uh, awards were broadcast from the MGM Grand. They drew between fifteen and twenty thousand people for those shows, but they didn't really do as well as they wanted to in their first year. So they're going to expand this festival all over the city uh, this year when they come back in, from March thirtieth to, to April second. They're going to be all over the place. I got to read it off. The Joint at the Hard Rock Hotel, Stoney's Rock and Country at Town Square, Toby Keys, I Love This Bar and Grill, the Pearl Theater, the the Redneck River. At the, oh, wow. at, at the Grand Bazaar shops at Bally's, Go Pool at Flamingo Las Vegas, the ballroom at Red Rock Resort. This is all over three days. House of Blues at Mandalay Bay and the Park Theater are all going to have programming during ACM Party for a Cause this year. So it's going to be a cool. very citywide civic event well, for this charity. Well, we love our country music, don't we? Uh, we're going <laughs> to really love it in April, and yeah. the, the broadcast is April 2nd from T-Mobile Arena. All right. Well, we quickly want to talk about the hard rock. We've got about mm -hmm. 30 seconds, but okay. we wanted to show, and if people want to read more, they can go to your column, and you've got a couple pictures in there of some construction and things that are working. On that. Yeah, this is Club Dominia, folks. <laughs> it's the old body English, and this is not the final version of it, I can mm -hmm. tell you that. This is where the uh, Magic Mike live show is going to op on, open on March 30th. That's, that is the date they want to soft open this show, and it's the, it's the new uh, resident show in that 450 seat. Uh, in the round renovated theater. Channing Tatum is behind this yeah. project. They are very excited about this show. The people from Base Entertainment say it's sold better in advance than even Phantom at the Venetian, the best ever in this city. So they're very excited about that. Look yeah. out for that show in March. All right, and we'll keep reading your column for more. Thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. That's a lot of info. Stay with us. We're back after this. Cats.